Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing The Soul Dancer. This was developed by Terrain Games and published by Deco and released on the 21st for a price of 8 dollars So what I'm literally going to do is jump in and see how it plays. Now the controls are really simple. On the left Joy-Con controls the ship and on the right hand side any button fires and what you really are aiming to do in this one is to get as close as possible to lock on your missiles on everyone. Hence the title Missile Dancer, so literally a strategy of trying to get as close as possible without getting tagged. It creates a really interesting dynamic actually because when you normally play uh, top down shooters like this, obviously you're trying to keep your back distance to avoid, you know, obviously getting shot down, but this encourages you to play very aggressive. So it's a nice little change and you get combos that you've got there for sinking some of the large ships. Obviously the more range we've got and the more missiles that we collect, the more impact and the more further we can stand away. It's a bit long to take in when you're trying to collect the uh, gems and hit the ships at the same time. Down. So I think this would be quite fun as a two player as well, um, you know, working side by side and it really does encourage um, competitiveness where you're getting close to trying to take everything out. So. The Shimmicks here are uh, taking a lot more damage than regular choppers in the first one so there's three difficulties as well normal hard and expert I think normal definitely would be a good place to start to get used to the mechanics and there is a three minute mode as well where you've got to try and get as many points as possible and keep the time up Do die, you're gonna lose a uh, chunk of your missile on range power ups, but thankfully, you do get them back pretty quickly.
uh, difficulty wise it does certainly feel with you uh, do die while not having full power then you're really going to struggle to get towards some of these bosses but this one's a bit more of a glass cannon than the other one we just had so hopefully we can uh, do just enough to uh, defeat this one That one wasn't too bad either, it was, uh, he was a lot more aggressive, but I forgot there in the end, so. Overall, I actually quite liking this game, you know, it's it's a different take on a, on a classic genre where, you know, you're not just sitting back at the back of the screen like this trying to avoid projectiles coming at you thinking fast, you know, it really does encourage you to push forward and uh, try and get these combos without dying, so. Really like the dynamic, give this one a solid 8 out of 10. Anyway guys, I hope you did like this review, please like and subscribe for future videos.